The AMB 145 Crew Awareness System produces a variety of oral warnings to notify the crew on system status, malfunctions, and abnormal aircraft configurations. These oral warnings are actually voice messages normally associated with warning messages on ICAS or other warning system. We will pass through each one of the voice messages, stating its meaning and correlation within the system. Please listen to the voice messages carefully. High speed so that you can be able to identify angle, it should it occur in real flight. To help you identify the message, we will repeat each one a couple of times. Many of the messages are preceded by tones according to the severity of the failure. Emergency messages are preceded by emergency tones like that. Hear the emergency tone again. Caution messages are preceded by caution tones, exactly like that. Again, the caution tone for you to commit to memory. The first voice message you hear when you start the aircraft electrical power is the one you are listening to. Oh, unit, okay. That is, both channels of the oral warning unit are operating normally on power-up test. Listen to it again. Oh, unit, okay. When the power-up test is performed and it detects a failure in one channel of the AWU, this message is heard. Oh, unit, one channel. It means that one oral channel is out of order. Listen to the message again and keep it in mind. Oh, unit, one channel. If electrical power fails to the oral warning unit, you will hear the... Oh, unit... One power voice message. Listen to the message again and keep it in mind. Oh, unit one power. This tone <laughs> alerts the crew about fire condition in engines one, two, or APU. Hear the message again. It is associated with ICAS messages Engine 1 2 Fire or APU Fire. This message High speed. alerts the crew when the airspeed exceeds VMO MMO. The crew must reduce the airspeed to keep it within the envelope. Hear the message again to keep it in mind. High speed. When the landing gear is not locked down and the radio altimeter is below 1,200 feet, the message landing gear will be heard. We are playing the message again. Hear it with attention. Landing gear. If the airplane cabin altitude reaches 10,000 feet, the message cabin will be heard. We will repeat the message to make sure you understand it. Cabin. This message. Take off. Flaps. Take off. Trim. Take off. Brakes. Take off. Spoiler. Is associated with a takeoff configuration warning. It alerts the crew that the airplane configuration is not suitable for takeoff conditions. That is, flaps are not in takeoff condition, pitch trim is out of green range, spoiler panels are deployed, or parking brakes are applied. Listen to the message again. Takeoff, flaps. Takeoff, trim. Takeoff, brakes. Takeoff. Spoiler. This message autopilot. alerts the crew that there is autopilot disengagement. Hear the message again. Autopilot. This message trim applicable to airplanes equipped with ICAS 17.5 and on. Trim. This message is heard when an incorrect pitch trim command has been performed. We will play the message again. Trim. When the takeoff configuration test is performed successfully, the message 
Take off. Okay. Is heard. Listen to the message again. Take off. Okay. The message. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Alerts the crew to identify the presence of severe wind shear. The meteorological phenomena related to wind shifting suddenly to a downdraft or from a tailwind to a headwind or vice versa. Hear the message again. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. The message. Caution. Wind shear. Alerts the crew to identify the presence of severe wind shear. Hear the message again. Caution. Wind shear. This message exists only on enhanced GPWS-equipped aircraft.